Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Express to open up and create a video that is usable for a basic podcast. Here you can see I'm inside of Chrome. I go to the waffle and after the second break of apps, you'll see the Adobe Express app. Go ahead and click here. If you've never used it before, it will ask you to use your Google sign-on. But since I use it all the time, it's already loaded. You'll see here there's lots of options. Uh, some students might get lost in a bunch of these. Make sure that you focus them in on the video tool, which will be at the top. Um, you can also click on these preset templates. I prefer to start with the preset template because you can go create from scratch. It will create a five second video. And as long as you don't turn off the skip the tour, it will start this every time a student uses it to show them and remind them where all the different parts are. Now, once they've started their project, you want them to go ahead and add something in here. So let's say you've already had a pre-recorded video with no voiceover on it. The student should have it downloaded. Here you can see you go to the media tool, pick on the recording or localize, and then you just drop it in. Once you do that, the student can crop and reshape the video itself. This will just create an overlay or like a filter that will close in on a shape. The other thing that you can do is that you can set it up where you have a couple of different layers and options. You can add more what they call scenes, which adds another part or another layer to the end of each item. But the key part is how do you actually do the recording elements? One of the things you want to do is turn on the edit your timeline. You want to show your layer timing because that will let you speed up and slow down some of the videos. The voiceovers might be longer or shorter based on what you're doing. And here you can see where I'm actually adjusting the video or clipping it. If you continue to extend the video beyond its original recording, it will just create dead space on the video background or actually, you know, on the layer that you're building your video. What you want to do is just keep it the same size and then if you need to change the speed or the timing by clicking in the select layer to adjust timing. Now to add your audio, you can go into the audio button which is underneath media and you can click some kind of song and it will add it here. Depending on how well the internet's working at school, it may be a second or two before it loads each time. Now to record, the students will have to allow the permission of the actual microphone on their Chromebooks. And then what you'll see is that it'll have a live mic actually picking up what you're saying. As soon as you click start recording, it will start to record. So here I'm outside of my actual video and it's recording the piece. Now you may say, where's it going? You don't see it showing up in the video. You don't see it there. Once you click finish recording, it pops up on the bottom layer, which is the audio layer, showing you where it actually got saved. Once it's completed, you can move it around in the video wherever you want to and actually add it there later on. Here you can see the blue lines are the audio files that I recorded after I loaded the videos in here. So if you want to, you can actually play a video and then voice record over it. It will lay it right on top of where you actually started recording. If you have a student that does not have a graphic for their podcast, what they can do is click on the media tab, go to text to image, and then write in a description of what kind of picture they would like for Adobe Firefly, which is the AI model built into Express to generate for them. They can also click different styles to generate the picture. Here I typed in students using a computer and then picked pixel art for the theme. Once it generates your pieces, you'll have four different variations. It'll be one size on the actual slide platform itself, as you can see. And then you can go through and click different ones to see how the selections are made. As you go through, you can size them differently or make selections separate from that. Um, once you're finished, you would just go ahead and change them accordingly. Maybe add some text over top of it and create an opening, an outro, and an intro slide like you see here at the end. Just so you know, this is one of the first videos I've ever made using just Adobe Express instead of my normal Adobe Rush. Everything inside the video was completely made inside of Adobe Express. So take a chance, try it out in your classroom.
This is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom again. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and check out some of these other tutorial videos in the list above.